What up, guys? This is Chivo Cars. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Rusty Gun. This game is published by Victory Road and it's developed by Huge Pixel. This is going to be another easy completion or platinum trophy. Ultimately, the game has 17 levels, and if you were to run through those levels without dying, you could probably beat the game in about 40 minutes. However, I think the average player will take about 1 to 2 hours to get this full completion or platinum trophy. And the reason being that to get that platinum or 1000 gamer score, we need to actually complete the full game. This isn't one of the ones, you know, where you can get by simply completing the first 20% of the game or something like that. We actually do need to complete this full game. Second thing I want to point out, and I've had a ton of people messaging me asking me about this, is that does this game have a cheat code? The reason people ask this is because other games developed by Victory Road traditionally have a cheat code that makes it easier to get all of the achievements or platinum trophy. Now, I did ask the developer and they gave me a heads up when they sent me the code and it indeed does not have a cheat code. So we're actually going to have to complete this full game legit without a cheat code. I gotta say, ultimately it's fairly easy obviously not as easy as you know a 10 minute or 15 minute completion but i still consider a one to two hour completion pretty easy now this is a side scrolling game and luckily the uh, checkpoints are pretty forgivable you have about two to three checkpoints every level and if you die you restart at that checkpoint so you don't necessarily need to start every level over again once you die but you only have three hearts and each heart can only take two hits so ultimately you can get hit six times before you die. That's why I gotta say it's fairly easy just because you know compared to some other games that have some pretty ruthless checkpoint systems this one is pretty forgiving. Now most of these achievements or trophies are going to come naturally while completing the game. You get an achievement for killing your first enemy, 30 enemies, and then 72 enemies. Actually, we got one for killing 150 enemies as well. Besides that, we have some achievements that you may miss if you don't know uh, to go for them. For instance, you have to crouch down 44 times, you have to jump a total of I think 200 times, and you have to slide 50 times. So you want to make sure that you jump, crouch, and slide enough to get those achievements. But besides that, um, there are some beer bottles located around the map. You do have to collect 50 beer bottles to get uh, the achievement or trophy related to the beer bottles. Now I know I just mentioned there's an achievement or trophy related to sliding 50 times. You don't have the slide at the beginning of the game. You don't unlock it until you defeat the first boss. Now a common theme amongst these games with the easy achievements is we always have an achievement related to dying a certain amount of times. And in this game, we have an achievement called No Country for Old Man a playoff of the title No Country for Old Men. That's an awesome movie if you haven't seen it. And that is for dying 15 times. Now, no need to, you know, fall into the pit and kill yourself 15 times to cheese it right away, just because you're definitely going to get this one naturally. Now, as you can see, I've been cutting through footage. I am going to be showing you guys how I defeated all of the bosses. I think there's about four or five bosses at least there's achievements or trophies related to defeating the first four bosses and then I think after you defeat the fifth one you get the achievement for completing the game. So if you happen to be watching this video because you're having trouble defeating one of these bosses, I'll make sure to include the timestamps in a pinned comment or in the description below for all of the boss battles. There's also one achievement or trophy related to finding a collectible. Collectibles in the game are called calendars and the one that I found is located in the fifth level of the game. I feel like the secret areas or secret rooms are kind of obvious, they're typically big blocks. All you have to do is make sure that you hug all of the walls and sometimes you'll run into an invisible wall. We have a little secret room that maybe has some bottles in it or a calendar. Now after we defeat Killork, we're going to get our first achievement related to defeating a boss. Who Framed This Freak? Another playoff of another movie, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And then again, after you defeat the first boss, we're going to unlock our first power or move and that is going to be the slide. So uh, moving forward, we will be able to slide, but the next level is a level where you are uh, shooting out of your vehicle and you just need to complete this one and then you will get an achievement for completing the vehicle or car level. 
Now, once you get to the next level, it'll be a normal level again, and now we'll be able to slide. I believe to slide, you need to press B. So just keep spamming B, slide until you unlock your achievement. Just because personally, I actually didn't use uh, slide too much while I was playing the game, so I decided to just spam it and cheese the achievement right away. Now you wanna keep a lookout because this is the level where I found my calendar. You're going to just look and run into these walls right there. Um, like for instance, that one again was just a big uh, blank block. Totally looks like maybe a secret room's in there, but that one had beer bottles. So if you keep an eye out, again, we have another big block right here, and this is the one with the calendar in it. You just have to jump up. You may not notice that it's a secret room because you have to jump up to get inside of there, but that's going to unlock your achievement or trophy related to finding a calendar. Now, once you get to level six, it's called Foothills Six, you're going to run into mines. Mines are introduced in this level. If you run into three mines, you're going to unlock an achievement or trophy related to running into three mines. So I'm not gonna show you all three attempts, but just showing you, you could die, just get hit by it, fall down. So just rinse and repeat, and then you're going to get your achievement called It's Only a Scratch or a 30 Gamer Score. Next, we're going to be going for the Round as a Table achievement worth a odd 51 Gamer Score. I know there's going to be some players that are not a fan of that. Anyway, so this is the Wobbler boss, and this one is fairly easy. Now, most of these bosses are pretty easy to defeat as long as you can learn the attack pattern. If you can learn the attack pattern and know exactly what's coming, then it becomes a lot easier to defeat them. For instance, the Wobbler boss, all he does is he stomps down, and once he stomps down, it causes the earthquake and some rocks fall from the roof. Besides that, he drops down some worms. Once he drops down the worms, just make sure that you crouch down and shoot the worms. You want to get the worms out right away because you may need to dodge some of the rocks and last thing you want to do is walk into a worm and lose some health. So just make sure that you manage the worms and that you dodge the rocks. Other than that, you just jump up and shoot him. Now I know it may take some time, but this is the way that I got it done. I'm going to go ahead and cut through a little bit of the footage in effort to make this just a little bit more quick and to the point. But yeah, you're just going to rinse and repeat that method until you have him defeated. I realize that he takes more damage when he's attacking and stomping down, so you might want to try to shoot him when he's doing that. After you defeat him, you're going to unlock the round as a table achievement worth 51 gamer score for killing the second boss. After that, we're going to end up in a another little mini game where we're basically rappelling down into the sewer now typically these mini games after the bosses have achievements or trophies related to them however this is the only instance in the game where the mini game level does not have an achievement or trophy related to it now as usual when you defeat a boss you unlock a new power in the game this time we're able to change our bullets to bullets that spread out a little bit more I recommend using this to kill enemies that are maybe hanging from the roof like bats and things like that. Now this is the third boss, his name is Mr. Junkersmith. Personally, I felt that the bosses got easier as the game went along. For Mr. Junkersmith, all we have to do is switch our ammo type to the second one that spreads out. And once you're using that one, you're able to shoot him while he's up hanging on the ropes. And when he's not hanging on the ropes, all you need to do is crouch down and shoot, and he won't be able to shoot you. So either be using your other bullets when he's hanging up on the roof uh, to spread out your bullets and shoot him. And when he's on the floor, just make sure that you're crouching down and shooting forward, and he won't be able to shoot you or hit you. You will also have some worms up here, but as long as you are crouched down shooting, you will typically shoot those worms before they even get close to you. And that's about it. That is how you defeat Mr. Junkersmith. Once you defeat him, you're going to unlock an achievement or trophy worth 52 gamer score called The One Who Stinks for killing the third boss, Mr. Junkersmith. After you defeat him, we're going to unlock our third ammo type and we're going to end up in our next mini game, which is the skateboard mini game. You're going to have to skate your way out of the sewers. This one is actually a little difficult. However, you know, after you learn 
um, the pathway and the track, it's pretty easy. So luckily it's not randomized. You can learn exactly how to do it and eventually you will get the hang of it and pass that part. And then eventually after you complete the mini game and once the level is completed, you're going to unlock your achievement worth 50 gamer score called Skater Boy for completing the level on a skateboard. Next, we're going to end up in the icy levels or the glacier levels, I don't know what they're called exactly. Um, but the boss of this region is called Necron Z, and he is pretty easy to defeat. All I did was I crouched down and kept shooting him, and eventually he's going to slide at you. You may have to jump over him, and pretty much the strategy is just crouch down and shoot. Crouch down and shoot, he won't be able to hit you with his bullets as long as you're crouched down. You may need to dodge some um, icicles or ice blocks hail whatever it is dropping from the sky as long as you dodge that stuff and you keep shooting him you should be all good to go and again if he tries to sub-zero slide kick you then you just gotta lap over him or jump over him little frog hop and just crouch down and keep on shooting pretty easy again I felt that these just got easier and easier as the game went on so that is how you defeat Necron 2 you may, you know, just need to practice a little bit of patience uh, because, you know, if you try to shoot him too much, you may, you know, not jump in time or get hit by some icicles or something like that. But that's going to unlock the Ice Ice Baby achievement worth 51 gamer score. I really respect the person that came up with the achievement names on this. I always like the puns in the achievements. That and then high quality achievement art. I mean, some of these indie developers do it right. You know, they have individual achievement art. Now, I want to point out that you actually don't even need to do any damage on the boss. The level will eventually just end. There's no way to actually defeat him. So really, you just want to focus on dodging his attacks more than trying to sink his submarine. Now that's going to unlock the achievement or 50 gamer score called Rock the Boat for completing the level on a boat. This is going to put us into our last couple levels, the last region, which is some type of laboratory region or set of levels. And eventually we're going to get to the final boss, which is Victor. Who knows, maybe it's just Victor, but Victor sounded way more epic for the final boss battle. So this one, I think it's fairly simple as well. I found a sweet spot right there on the left. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't stand over any of these sections where the fire comes out because obviously, you know, that'll do a lot of damage to you. So I was trying to stay in this section over to the left, not all the way to the left, but right after the first fire spot. Let's see if I can get there and show you guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, you want to jump up and shoot him um, when he is in the air, just like that. And this is the spot that I was referring to on the left just because you can you know gain some distance and then also you're not getting hit by fire right there after we defeat this boss we will get the achievement for completing the game and we will have our full completion or platinum trophy we're almost there again you just want to be patient you don't want to you know try to shoot him too much and then end up getting uh, hit by a fireball or the flames coming from the floor or something like that so just practice some patience and don't forget that you could slide by pressing B if anything, I found that the most beneficial place in the game to slide was during this boss battle. Other than this boss battle, I really didn't use the slide at all. Luckily, as mentioned before, the game has a ton of forgiving checkpoints. So, you know, if you're having trouble with the boss, luckily, you know, if you die, you start right at the beginning of the boss battle. So, ultimately, I do think the game was pretty easy probably takes you know the average person about an hour and a half to get your full completion or platinum trophy let me know down in the comments how long it took you to get your full completion or platinum trophy as always i appreciate you guys tuning in if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe